Now there's to be a new effort to get children to cycle to school. The bikeability exam. Now there's to be a new effort to get children to cycle to school. The bikeability exam. This lunchtime, the government have launched a new training scheme to get kids back on two wheels. A new cycling test is being brought into schools in England next week. An updated version of the cycling proficiency test is on its way back. Organisers hope that in five years, every 11-year-old across England will have had the chance to try the course and maybe start cycling to school. Local authorities have got a real part to play in rolling out bikeability because this is a national standard, this is cycling proficiency for the 21st century. This relaunch is completely different. What they want to do is teach kids how to ride on the road with cars. So it's launching across England later today. And there's a new cycling programme beginning in schools. It's called Bikeability and it replaces the old cycling proficiency test. Philip Danson is Chief Executive of Cycling England. What we're doing now is taking children onto the road, giving them road skills so that they will be able to ride to their schools every morning. Will this give the children the confidence to go out on the road? Well, it's about skills and confidence. And the real key is for parents to have confidence that children have got good road sense, and that's where bikeability comes in. And it is good for kids to get that independence and that real, really important life skill. These children are extremely confident about cycling on the road. They've become some of the first 10-year-olds in the country to take the new updated version of the cycling proficiency test, the bikeability programme. It will help my confidence and I think I'll be a lot more safe on the roads in Paris. Hardly anyone cycles to school these days, but the government wants that to change. So they've come up with a brand spanking new exam to replace the old cycling proficiency test. It's called bikeability. To pass the exam, you have to cycle off-road on real roads and learn how to ride safely in traffic. It's a fun sport to do. Instructor Eric shows me it's all about positioning and defensive riding techniques. One of the key lessons that Eric's trying to drum into me is not to be on this side of the road, in near the cars where I feel safe, but a bit more out in the middle where people can see me and give me a wide berth. And it's worries about safety that might explain why cycle trips have fallen by a fifth in a decade. I do think that parents are very, very anxious about society generally, and this is part of that anxiety. But the first step has to be that you learn to ride. That's a real life skill. Amazing.